morning, morning. Listen, God gave me this word that he told me to speak to you. And you got to understand that we in the last days. One of these days, we not going to be living. And so many people walking around living their life as if Jesus not coming back. Not knowing that the Bible said it's just going to be like the days of Noah. It's going to be people that's walking around this earth, living and doing whatever they want to do. People walking around like they don't care about God. People too focused on video games and they distracted by the stuff for this world that can't save their soul. And Jesus said, listen, it's going to be just like the days of Noah when he packed this stuff in his family and the animals and got into the ship as God instructed him by faith. The rain came down 40 days and 40 nights and everybody on earth drowned. And those were the people that wasn't worrying about God and that was disobeying and living in sin. That's how it's going to be right now. You got to get your soul right. Because Jesus showed me. And it's a lot of people, y'all, God said, get your mind together. Get your focus together. Because one of these days, you're going to die. One of these days, you're going to see Jesus. And the question is, what you going to do when you face him on judgment day? And he opened up the Bible, the book that's going to judge you. Because so many people, uh, you judging, you no, the Bible is the truth. And the sad part about it is the same Bible that people fight against. It's the same book that God, Jesus is going to open up on judgment day and it's going to judge you. The Bible said that's going to judge you on the last day. So, I right, listen, you, you got to get your soul right. So many people lying to people, telling them that they okay in their sins. You are not okay in sin. Sin kills your spirit. It kills your soul. So you got to choose today who you going to serve. Just like the days of Noah, Jesus is going to come back. And that rainbow symbol he gave us, he said that's a symbol that I'm not going to destroy the world in water. But this time he's going to destroy the world with fire. In the days of Noah, the world was destroyed with water. Killed everybody off. But this time, Jesus said he killed everybody off in the fire this time. And this time, he's going to avenge everybody who's an atheist. Everybody who chooses to disobey him because they worry about their flesh more than God. But God said, listen. God said, send warning to my people. Send warning to the world that I'm coming back and I'm coming soon. To repent for your sins, believe in Jesus, and get baptized in the name of Jesus so your sins can be forgiven and receive the Holy Ghost. That's Acts chapter 2, verse 38. God said he been, he been talking to you. God said he been getting the word preached to you. And some of y'all still doing what God told you not to do. But one of these days, you're going to see Jesus. And there's going to be no excuses. And if you don't qualify for heaven... Because you chose not to follow the ways of the Lord according to his word. God said he going to see you and say, depart from me. I don't even know you. And many of you going to try to explain, oh, well, God, I pray. You're going to try to tell God all the stuff you did for him in ministry and how much you read your Bible. He going to say, I don't even know you. I hear what you're saying, but I don't know you. And the reason why is because God said his sheep hear his voice. They know his voice. And they follow him. If you really knew God and you loved him, you would have followed him while you had the chance on earth. And I can see now people burning hell. The same people who chose not to obey God. The same people who took life for granted. They were so focused on money. So focused on vacations and cars and all this material stuff. And now you find yourself in hell. And all you can say is, man. That preacher was right. He tried to tell me that sister and brother was right. They told me to repent. They told me to receive the Holy Ghost so I can have power to live right. But I choose to do what I want to do. And many people, the Bible says, it's going to say, Lord, Lord. But they would not enter God's kingdom. That's a scary thing. To know that you, when you miss heaven, you can never go there again. You can never go there. And I can see the vision that God gave me of the people screaming in hell. I can see the vision of the people wishing that they would have listened when they had the chance, when there was a lie. I can see them begging God, please save me. 
give me some water because this fire is too hot. But God going to say no. Because I gave you time when you were living on earth. And you chose to live in disobedience and serve the devil. Therefore, I sentence you eternally to fire and damnation. Don't let that be you, my brother and sister. Don't let that be you who God say, I never knew you. Repent now and get your soul right. Because too many people are playing church. But God said, I'm coming and I'm coming soon. Tomorrow is not promised. You can die in the car wreck. You can die in your sleep. Don't go to sleep knowing that you're not saved. Repent and get it right right now. If you have any questions, I want you to type in the video. If you need to get saved, type in the video. I'm letting you know that he's coming. I will be posting more videos on YouTube as the Lord giving me. And may God bless y'all. May God keep y'all. Remember, he's coming back. And he ain't playing no games. For only those who do the will of God, those who choose to believe in Jesus and follow his word and live holy, separated from this world, will see Jesus. If, the, if you want that to be you, get it right. All these people telling this, this feel-good stuff, it, yeah, it, it may sound good, but it doesn't deliver you from sin. If people telling you something and it keeps you in sin, then that's a, that's a word from the devil. That ain't God's word. God's word delivers you when you receive it in your heart. Stop, stop running from God. Stop fighting him. Because one of these days, it's going to be over. And your time to get saved will aspire. Don't go, don't, don't get caught slipping, disobeying God. Because once you die, or once Jesus return, all the chances you had is gone. And it's either heaven or hell at that point. Where you gonna go? You gotta choose to serve the Lord. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. It's my prayer. If this bless you, share the video so somebody else can get blessed. Amen.